thanks to everyone who shows up on time to church. <laughs> I want to offer you a special welcome from all of the members and friends of Grace Evangelical Lutheran Church. That's where you are, by the way. Um, this, this congregation has been worshiping since 1940 and has wished you would come and join us every Sunday. Um, but we're glad you are here tonight for this celebration. The Beatles Mass is an interesting thing to sing because many of us know the tunes of the Beatles, but we might know them a little differently um, or remember them from a long time ago and the cobwebs get stuck in there. So feel free to listen to the choir folk, which is going to come out of this area to guide you through the songs. <clears throat> if you've got really great attention spans, am I telling you a little bit about communion now will stick? If not, just follow the people in the beginning and pretend you remember it the whole time, okay? We're going to have two stations up front where you can either dip your bread or you can have your individual cup. But we need everyone, even though there's two lines, to exit off of this side if you are physically able to do so because there's a big piano in the way, okay? If you're not physically able to go all the way back this way before you head over here, just go on grace and Lutheran faith that people will be nice and let you back to your seat. Okay? Does that sound good? I think that you all look like you're going to pay. Um, so remember, this is a Lutheran service and you don't have to. Take a second to center your hearts and your minds into this place and let us worship.
and come in before them, who will lead them out and bring them in so that the congregation will not be like sheep without a shepherd. The second reading is from 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. We are God's servants working together. You are God's field, God's building. By the grace God gave me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each building must choose with care how to build on it. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid, and that foundation is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Right. 
You weren't expecting that, were you? No. <laughs> Congregational numbers are down. Churches are closing. Giving is down. Multi-point parishes are becoming the norm. We aren't bringing as many new babies into the church as the number of people we have leaving the doors one way or another. And let's face it, most of us aren't very good at inviting people in from the outside to begin with. 